This video is to help you go over the notes that you've been using in the last few years. We're going to concentrate on strings one, two and three on the guitar so that you can get familiar with those notes again and when we start using them in tunes you'll know exactly where you're heading for. The pattern we're going to play to do this is called a chromatic scale. Now a chromatic scale is when you play all of the normal notes, the natural notes, G, A, B, C, D, and the sharp notes in between. Now if you remember, a sharp is the note with one fret added. So G is string three, add one fret, you've got G sharp, string three, fret one. A, string three, fret two. A sharp, string three, fret three. So I would like you to play me G, G sharp, A, A sharp. The rhythm we're going to play on each note is caterpillar. Caterpillar, like that. So here we go. Have those three notes ready. One, two, three, four. G sharp and A, A sharp. Now if you notice, I'm using finger one on fret one, finger two on fret two, and finger three on fret three. That's what I'd like you to try to do. Do that once again. Make sure that you're using the right fingers on the right frets. One, two, three, four. G, G sharp, A, and A sharp. Now we're moving on to string two. You've got B, no frets, C, fret one, C sharp, fret two, D, fret three, and D sharp, fret four. This will be using finger four, that's your little finger, it's probably not as strong as the others, but keep using it because that will exercise it and it will get strong. Again, we're going to do caterpillar on each note. So together, one, two, three, four. that second string one more time. One, two, three, four, B, C, C sharp, D, and D sharp. We're using the right thing. Let's start from string three and add string two to it. So we will be going G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp. All of those notes. Caterpillar on each note. One, two, three, four. G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, and D sharp. Now we're going to go into string one. You've got E, no frets, F, fret one, F sharp, fret two, and high G fret three. That's as far as we're going. We're not going to add half high G sharp to that. Caterpillar on each note, again, apart from the high G. This is what I'd like you to play on high G. Spider. So E Let's just do that string one pattern once again. One, two, three, starting on E. E, F, F sharp, and G. Now let's add all those three strings together. We're going to start on the low G, work our way up to the high G. The last high G, we're just going to play two notes. The rhythm spider, the rest of them go caterpillar. 
Ready? Starting on G. One, two, three, four. G, G sharp. You might notice that there's a finger pattern there. Often when we're playing chromatic scales, it's useful to think about the finger pattern. And with the G chromatic scale, I often think three, four, three, because you're playing three fingers on the G string, four fingers on the B string, and then three fingers again on the E string. So you can think three, four, three, and that can help you remember it. On the way down, because scales go down as well as coming up, we're going to do caterpillar on every note, apart from the last one again, spider, and it will be the low G that does that this time instead of the high G. And this time, just to make it a little bit more confusing, we're going to think about flat names instead of sharp names for notes. Now, a flat is the opposite to a sharp. So where you add one fret to make a note sharp, you take away one fret to make a note flat. So G, high G, string one fret three, if you take away one fret, you have G flat. It happens to be the same note as F sharp. It's just spelling. Usually, when notes are going upwards, we will call them sharp notes. When sequences of notes are going downwards, very often we will call them flat notes. So on the way down, I'm going to call these notes G, G flat, F, E flat, D, D flat, C, B, B flat, A, A flat, and G. You might notice that E flat is string two, fret four. Obviously, you can't take one fret away from an open string, so String 2, fret 5, is the same note as the open string. You take one fret away from that, it ends up as string 2, fret 4. The same thing happens with the B flat. You can't take a fret away from the open string. String 3, fret 4, is the same note as the open B string. You take one fret away from that. If you remember that pattern, 3-4-3, three, three, it works just as well. So three fingers on string one, four fingers on string two, and three fingers again on string three. Let's try that scale going down then. We're starting on the high G, and we're going to go backwards. So it will go fingers three, two, one, high G, G flat, and F. Don't forget the open strings, and we are doing caterpillar on each note. One, two, three, four. High G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, D flat, C, B, B flat, A, A flat, and G. Let's do that scale going upwards and then downwards. Caterpillar on every note until you get to high G and you go spider and then you start again on high G. Caterpillar going backwards, getting to the bottom note, spider on the bottom note, starting on G. One, two, three, four. G, G sharp.
orange. See if you can get louder, the higher the notes get. So start off quietly and crescendo. And then on the way down, start loudly and gradually get quieter with each note. I'm not going to say the notes this time, so let's see if we can do that together. After four, one, two, three, four. Thank you. 